Hi, my name's Peter Coffin, and I used AI to generate some hilarious songs that I'm going to share with you. I have three of them, and they are about online political figures. So if you want to hear a pop punk song about Ben Shapiro talking fast, a boy band song about how all five members of the boy band fell in love with Jordan Peterson, or a 1970s queen-like epic anthem about how Destiny uses Wikipedia, well, stick around, because I got all three of those things here. Now, generally, I'm quite critical of things, including things that I like, and I like AI a lot. I do not think that generative AI is complicated stealing a la H Bomber Guy. In fact, copying is great. Sharing ideas with everyone, that's why copying is fun. If you want more of that, check out my uh, Plato documentary. It covers H Bomb, it covers AI. But today I want to talk about potential. Now, I do want to get into some criticism and we'll do that later, but I think now is the time to debut our first song, a fast paced pop punk song about Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro talking like a machine gun, much firing, can't keep up with the action. Conservative views, he's got them on repeat. Fast talker, he's the king of the beat. Ben Shapiro. Drum fill. He's got the stats, he's got the facts. Logic and reason, that's what he attracts. Love him or hate him, you can't deny. Ben Shapiro, he'll make your brain fry. That's a freaking banger, okay? How can you argue with that? Honestly, Ben Shapiro needs to commission a cartoon made and just use that as his intro. <laughs> I mean, look where we are. This is incredible. Like, I love that. I, I don't want to do anything but listen to a pop punk guy sing about how Ben Shapiro talks fast, okay? That's the rest of my day. Now, I used Suno, which is a new AI tool to make these. This one wasn't too hard to get to happen. When I was prompting for these songs, I found that you could very easily get a lot of generic stuff. I really enjoyed the lyrics to this one. I think it does a great job. I did have to be extra specific with it. This one wasn't too bad, but the next couple of them, it did a whole lot of making very generic songs that don't quite understand what I'm asking it to do. But if you're as specific and descriptive as you can be within the character limit, you can get bangers like this. And, and like the AI does seem to know who Ben Shapiro is, and that's a help. But I had a couple of attempts where the song kind of just mentioned him, didn't talk about conservative views. It didn't talk about how fast he talks. And that was what I wanted to be the centerpiece of the song. Let's move on to... Um, a song about a five-piece boy band falling in love with Jordan Peterson. We were five ordinary guys just chasing in the night. Then one day we found the book that changed our lives. Opened up our minds and made us see the light. Jordan Peterson, you're the reason why we strive. Your words, they spoke to us, touched our very souls. Twelve rules for life, we took them all to heart. From stand up straight to Another banger. Let's just be clear. This one was tougher to get. So to get it to progress from kind of just talking about Jordan Peterson's book and how it put this boy band on the right path to slowly creeping into the boy band, all five of them have fallen in love with Jordan Peterson. It was, it took a lot of tries. <laughs> but I mean, you really can't argue with that result. The words are in a, a couple of places a little uncanny, but I also think that adds to the funny. You can input lyrics into this and have it make songs out of them. I did not do that. 
I kind of think that for the purpose of making fun of people, the uncanny lyrics are a lot funnier. Like Jordan Peterson, you're the reason why we strive is a really odd thing to say. But I, I, I love it. Like, I, I absolutely love this. This is hilarious. And with that, I think it's time to come to the closer, the real piece de resistance. This is by far, in my opinion, the funniest. I'm going to go out and even say, like, I think this is a little unfair because I don't think Destiny just reads Wikipedia articles. I think that he has leaned on them at bad times that he shouldn't have leaned on them. Uh, that being said, this is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Destiny, oh Destiny, what do you see? In the depths of Wikipedia, do you find what you need? You argue with precision, armed with facts galore. But in the world outside, can you find something more? laughing at it like this destiny oh destiny will you ever find peace let go of the articles set your spirit free oh my god oh my god it, i'm not even joking it makes me cry like it's that funny it's the funniest thing i've ever heard now, a lot of people get really hung up on who owns what this stuff is trained on. But what really matters is not who owns the content. What really matters is who owns the computers that the do this. They choose what to train on. And they choose what's acceptable and what isn't. Are these types of personal attacks going to remain uh, allowable on Suno? As a platform? I don't know. I hope so, because I don't think that they're, like, devastating or anything. I don't think you look at Destiny Jordan Peterson or Ben Shapiro any different after having heard those songs. But that's where the real critique is. Yes, I do want people to get paid for their work, and when you put labor into something that gets trained, yes, I do want you to get paid for that. I'm not saying I don't. But this is potentially another layer of information control in a world where information's already very controlled. This is clearly technology that could unlock so much. Like, I'm not going to make these things and put them on Spotify or anything, but I can generate little, like, cutaway jokes for my documentaries or stuff to put into these videos. But would you use this to make real songs? I wouldn't. Like, these songs are not based on life experience. They're based on recognizing patterns in other songs. And I told it to generate lyrics that don't, like, resonate with a real emotion. If you do that, it doesn't work. An AI take on a quote-unquote real song, not a funny song, they're not good. You know how a lot of people complain about pop music being bland and the lowest common denominator shit? Well, it's because the process that goes into making that music is the exact same process that goes into making AI music. They're aggregating a bunch of stuff that they know works into a song. It's, it's pattern recognition rather than attempting to write songs from experience. That's the reason why I don't think that AI works for that kind of a thing. I use AI as an assistant in my writing, but AI doesn't write for me. 
I use it to keep track of stuff. I bounce ideas off of it. I try to find like what is a probable objection to something I'm saying or if what I'm saying makes any sense at all. Like if it understands the point of the thing I'm saying. Those things are, are, are incredible uses of AI, but ultimately it's not something that can replace a person. It, it's something that can augment a person incredibly. Like her, that movie, I'm not worried about happening. But I am interested in when one of those types of people makes an AI song about how stupid I am. I think that's all I have for you today. Um, lick those buttons underneath. Like, give them a big old slurp. Leave me a comment and become a subscriber. Also, don't forget to money me at patreon.com slash Peter Coffin. I hope you have a good day. Uh, let go of the articles. That's your spirit free. <laughs>